In this video, I'm going to break down how you can get 5% more for your home by only spending about 15,000. Stay tuned. My name is Karen, and I've been living in Mosel Bay for about 15 years and selling property here. And if at any point in this video, you want more information on the property market in Mosel Bay, drop me a comment below or reach out directly at 072-088-2075. So let's get into it. In Mosel Bay, especially, I would say the first thing that I have found that my clients comment on or are concerned about when they view properties is damp. If there is damp in a house, people tend to either back off and just rather look at a different property or they tend to, to come in with lower offers to try and sort out the problem because sometimes they just overthink it and um, maybe the, the problem isn't even that big. So please understand I'm not saying cover up uh, mistakes and problems and defects that that should be actually mentioned and please do mention um, defects to me if, if you are sellers so we can attend to it but if there are super superficial um, issues defects damp because most houses in Mosel Bay has damp we, we live close to the ocean it's something that sometimes can be sorted out quite quite easily um, by treating the area, painting over it and just making it um, good looking again and nice again and I would say if I could advise sellers that will be the first thing that I would advise them to just attend to. Number two, when it comes to the painting of the house this is something that I've seen over the years. Sometimes sellers with the very best of intentions paint the whole house inside and outside and they think everything is perfect and they put the house in for a little bit more because they hope to get more. In my opinion, that's not necessarily the best way to do it because mostly it's sometimes the wife, not always, but mostly the wife comes in and then people have different tastes. Then she paints the whole house a different color and personalize it because she's excited about her new house and then all that money is wasted. So my advice to you would not be to paint the entire property. Uh, for that for that reason I would say if there are little dents and areas where there were screws and you know everything just just fix it up polyfiller and make it as presentable as you possibly can um, I don't think there's a need unless the house hasn't been painted in 20 years then maybe it's a good time to paint but if everything is still you no know, fine um, I don't think it's necessary to paint but, but just, just make it as, as appealing as possible. Number three, this is one that I feel very passionate about. And this was part of my business strategy when I decided to go on my own and do things like I preferred it to as an agent. Gone are the days where agents can sit in their offices, firstly come in with a Mick and Rick, uh, camera, uh, cell phone, and then just go to the office, put it on property 24 and wait for uh, phone calls. Doesn't work that way anymore. Times have changed. People enjoy lying in bed and watching on their iPads or on their phones and, um, you know, WhatsApping each other, husbands and wives, what, watch, uh, WhatsApping each other links. Um, and for that reason, I feel so strongly about proper marketing material. And this includes drone footage, 360 virtual tours, YouTube videos, um, professional photos, and this should be for the, um, for, for the account of the, of, the, of the agent. That is part of our service. That is what the seller pays us for, partially, also to guide you through the process, but in my opinion, those are things that you should not be skimping on as an agent. Um, I also believe that many of our clients, especially in Mosel Bay, are not from Mosel Bay. So your targeted marketing is so important. You have to know beforehand what is the market who is possibly going to look at the property. What age are they? What professions are they in? How old are they? You know, what gender are they? The statistics are out there. And if you don't have proper systems to, you know, I, 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 have, a, I have a good system now. 
So I have an entire list in my CRM system with pre-qualified buyers. And then as soon as I list the property, that property's information automat automatically gets sent to those buyers. And I know for a fact that this is what they are looking for. I don't waste their time with a lot of information because information overload is out there. And one of the things that I really, really dislike is property 24 listings that are either expired or are not on the market anymore or it's sold three years ago but it's still, still on property 24. I really feel sorry for buyers who has to do house hunting with, with information that is definitely not updated. So my point is online um, sales is how I do about 80% of my sales at the moment and you need proper proper quality footage. I use cinematic solutions that are incredible. Um, Christopher and Grant they help me so much with my marketing and I can really recommend them. So super important. Ask your agent how do they actually present the property. Remember you've now done a lot of work. You've painted, you've staged the garden, all the things that we are talking about in the video. And then you really need to optimize the work that has been put into your property to get you the best price in pocket. That's what it's about. Number four, super important. Please don't make the mistake of overpricing your property as a seller. The statistics have shown us that overpriced houses take longer to sell and sell at a lower price in the end and that is not what you want. Rather do proper, proper market valuations on the property. Um, get a few opinions if you need to, but be sure to market the property from, um, at the right price from the start. I have seen over the years overpriced properties on the, on the market for a, few, for a few months and remember it's not an easy um, time for, for a buyer or a seller. Um, it is uncomfortable. People are in and out of your house. You need to clean it up and have it neat. And sometimes people don't make proper appointments. And it's not a nice process if it isn't handled correctly. And after a few months of this, um, sellers don't, <laughs> they don't have the energy anymore um, for this whole process. And sometimes then they settle for the lower amount uh, because they, they, they purely cannot stand it anymore. And... That is not what you want. Rather, market your property at the right price. Do a pro proper market evaluation, um, comparative market um, evaluation. Um, uh, you look at the, at the local sales, recent sales, that will definitely be in your best interest. Number five, I really, really feel strongly about this one too because I've seen over the years what a, what a big impact this can have on, on the on the agent's ability to sell a property. Please be sure that the house smells nice. Open windows and doors and curtains. A dark, foul-smelling house is not a house that is easy to sell. Um, make sure that the, that the toilet seats are down. Make sure that the beds are made, that the dishes are washed. Make it a neat, pleasant house to enter. Um, some people say you actually have to put on the coffee percolator so there's a nice coffee smell. Um, people go as far as to put a little dish with vanilla essence in the oven so it smells like cookies. And it may sound silly, but these things work. Remember, people, people um, tend to be emotional when they buy. And when all the senses are pleased, it's, it, it, it creates a better impression. If it smells nice, it's nice and light, it's not dark. Um, you know, there, there are psychological factors that people don't realize. And I strongly do advise sellers to take this into consideration. Please declutter and also remove as many as possible, that, you know, as, as many as you feel comfortable with, uh, personal photos. If, if there are 100 personal photos over the property, it is hard for the buyers to visualize themselves in that property. So I hope that helps. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, be sure to check out my other videos on my YouTube channel 
and please subscribe so you can keep updated with my advice and tips and tricks and local knowledge.